Oh, everything. You really I got could after keep it. listing cleaning projects. I'm trying to think of others because I'm putting off Trivia Tuesday. I, well, I think we should probably just get to Trivia <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> you mentioned the weather. No, that's <clears> how true. It, it kind of ignites the spring cleaning. Kelly, yeah. uh, are you a, a fair weather spring cleaner? Um, I think when it does turn to spring, I do get a little more clean and like to see my place cleaned up a bit. So um, I actually just cleaned my bathroom and my bat room over the weekend. In the bat room. Yeah. <laughs> and the bat room. No, <laughs> so clean. You guys spotless. are fancy. I don't have a bat room. You got to work on that. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Uh, this Trivia Tuesday time. Trivia Tuesday. This All one right. is actually a very difficult one. So I will be so impressed if even you at home can get this one. This is about a topic okay. that you may have learned in science class, you know, Probably once not. in your school career. Mm. So. Here's the question. Uh, what do you call the phase change from a gas to a solid? Oh, I know this one. So I, I know this one. A few of these will be familiar. Evaporation is A. B, okay. freezing. That one's pretty obvious. You yeah. know, you freeze water into an ice cube. So it's obviously not B. C, sublimation. You or just eliminated D. an answer for us? I did, Travis. Yes. Or D, That's deposition. That's how little confidence she has in our <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> she gave us a freebie. <laughs> I definitely learned this in school. I think it's sublimation. I'm, I'm going with sublimation because Sublime is one of my favorite bands. Yeah, that, that's in the right category, but still the wrong. Oh, gosh. It is, is sublimation gas to liquid? Yes, it's just Dang the opposite. It. <laughs> yeah, so no. uh, I, totally. I chose I was, this. I forgot that that was from gas to Travis, liquid. Travis, did, did was... you actually learn this in school? Did you ever like touch on that? At, if at all in I learned it class? in school, I have long forgotten it. <laughs> right. uh, don't, cannot confirm that I ever learned it, though, to begin with. Right. Well, I mean, in weather, Man. these phases happen all the time. Time. So I've just been doing a little bit of research on snowflakes and they actually go through deposition. So from a cloud, which is water vapor or a gas, it goes straight into a solid, an ice crystal. Huh. So it's pretty rare, but uh, really cool how that happens. Uh, you can see here some of the phase changes too. Um, I will show with you deposition, gas to a solid, sublimation again, solid to a gas. And then you've got your evaporation. When a liquid evaporates in a water vapor, that's how you form clouds. Condensation is a cloud, that gas again, that condenses on maybe a speck of dirt and then it, it uh, turns to a liquid, falls as rain. So these are all of our phases here that we use all the time. A quick look at a uh, solid here. This is an ice crystal. I have shared this before, but snowflakes are just so beautiful. These are these dendrites again, six sides, ice crystals that form uh, off of maybe a speck of dust also in those clouds and then fall to the ground. So snowflakes are such a an awesome phenomenon that happens again out in the environment. And uh, again, it goes from straight up gas to a solid.